you may not know that Florida has one of the smallest state governments per capita. We spend less uh, on our state government. <clears throat> so given that, uh, I'm getting to my question. <laughs> given that, where will you find these efficiencies that you talk about uh, in a state government that's already been cut, not to the bone, but to the marrow? Well, cl well clearly, this state has great state employees. Uh, if you look at um, if any of the briefings I've had so far, whether it's on, whether it's on education or you know, all the briefings, what people talk about is how, how hardworking uh, many, many, many people are in state government. Over the years, in a variety of different businesses I've been involved in, I've had the opportunity to hire a lot of state employees around the country. And my experience has been uh, that they've been outstanding, uh, very committed individuals. Now, the other side of it is that we have, we have a big economic crisis in the state. So we're going to have to do the right thing and create as many efficiencies as we can. So there's, there's, uh, there's opportunities. I mean, one of the, um, whether it's centralized purchasing, whether it's comparing ourselves to other states, you know, on any, on any different uh, factor. And by, by doing that, my experience has been that great employees figure it out. They come up with new ideas, and they're able to innovate and do things like that. And I believe that we have a great group of state employees, and they'll do that.